Hey everyone, it is a little after 7 here on Tuesday night. I don't know about you, but long day here. But I just wanted to pop on, and I've been thinking a lot about our conversation from yesterday, talking about the love of God and accepting His love, allowing His love to fill our hearts, knowing that we're loved, all of those really crucial things in order to have a relationship with Him, to trust Him enough to tell Him the hard things to be honest about the things that are going on in our lives. And I had some comments and a couple messages after yesterday, and so I just wanted to come back to that place of accepting God's love, of not questioning His love or feeling like we don't deserve His love. I think for me, I have come to understand more about the love of God through being a mom. Being a parent certainly changes my perspective because I see how much I, as a mom, love my kids. And I know that the Word tells us you know, that if we as humans know how to good give, give good gifts to our children, how much more does God? He is an amazing Father. So if we, who are just human beings, who aren't perfect, can give love to our kids, how much more can a God who is perfect give love to us? And so I had some comments and messages from yesterday about people saying that they feel like they struggle so often with feeling worthy to receive God's love. And so I just wanted to speak to that particular um, point from the perspective of being a parent. I was thinking today about, you know, if one of my kids came to me and said, hey mom, I'm really struggling with feeling like I'm worthy of your love. My heart would be broken for them. My heart would just hurt so bad that they would think that it's about them doing something or being something, being enough or not being enough. That's not what it's about at all. God's love is a gift. My gift my love for my kids is a gift. God's love for each one of us is a gift. So if you are a parent, I would just encourage you to think about the way you love your kids and then know that God has that same kind of love for you. And maybe you're not a parent. Maybe, you know, that's just not what your life looks like, like right now. Um, or maybe you didn't have a good relationship with your parents growing up. And so maybe you feel like that gets in the way of you understanding, you know, this whole unconditional love kind of thing. Well, I want to share a little bit with you today from Romans. So we read at the end of chapter 8, it says, But in all these things we, are overwhelming, we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will ever be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. There is nothing that can separate us from the love of God. There is nothing that we can do to make God love us more. There is nothing that we can do that would make him love us less. There is no place we can go that keeps us from the love of God. He loves us. It's not about us at all. It's about Him. His desire has always been to love His children, just as my desire always is to love my kids. And if I can love my kids, I'm not perfect. I'm just a human. I get impatient. I get frustrated. All those things. If I, even in the midst of my imperfections, can love my kids, then how much more can God, who is a perfect God, love us? So tonight, I just want you to remember that it's not about you. It's not about you feeling like you have to do something to earn God's love. It's simply about Him wanting to love you. So we're going to keep talking about that this week. We're going to talk about why God loves us. We're going to talk about accepting His love. And so for tonight, I just want you to spend some time in Romans, the end of Romans chapter 8, just reminding yourself that there's nowhere you can go that will separate you from God's love. There's nothing that you can do to make Him love you more. There's nothing you could do that would make Him love you less. He simply loves you. You are enough just the way you are. So tonight, receive his love. Let his love fill you with the peace that it brings, the knowing that he is for you, knowing that he has loved you every day of your life, every moment, every breath. He's seen it all, and he has loved you. He wants you to know how much he loves you just as I want my kids to know how much I love them. All right, I will see you guys back here tomorrow. Have a great night.